So these are the weapon builds they are gonna give us for the supply and demand after your game event has been done. Before that, I'll tell you guys real quick what you can get if you've done the supply and demand. You will be getting freaking 15 bitcoins. They already said if you reach the secret milestone of 100k targets, meaning that in the next wipe, all the players will receive 5% discount from the entire mechanic assortment, which it was pretty expensive while during the event, mechanic was selling all the stuffs. And also for every 10k targets achieved, Bitcoin will be produced to us, which was 150k. So in total, you will get 15 Bitcoins if you did all the tasks related to supply and demand. Both are for PvP and PvE modes. What I'm thinking is that this is very related to the prestige system BSG was talking about. Whenever the wipe happens, prestige system will happen. It will move on to the next wipe even though wipe happens. So I think they're trying those kind of things. They always do that before the wipe happen. Which is, this is going to be succeeding to the next wipe. Anyway, so they will give us unlock on level 3 and 4 for next wipe. If you've done this task, which are these three, Colt M4A1, and then an MDR, and a SIG MCX. Let's check out the stats. All right, the stat is like looking like this. 63 vertical, 181 horizontal, 53 economics. Not bad, but don't understand why would people use this over all other guns. Compared to like normal M4 builds out there, I don't think it's like really good build. It almost looks like some rogue built it. I'm not really sure about this one. Yeah, that one, I completely understand this one. Why is it missing a dial? It's missing a whole dial here. <laughs> what? So 73 vertical recoil, 227 horizontal recoil, 56 ergonomics. And voila. I mean, it's black MDR, it's, it's overall good, but still like... A bit weird, why would you change everything into Tan? I guess they like Tan. The weird looking ass MCX. Some random... I mean, 60 round mag. Who uses flashlight, man? That, that... No way this is actual player. It doesn't make sense in my opinion. Maybe, maybe they changed... So I, what I'm thinking is that they chose the gun. I mean, they chose the gun based on what people used. So it's called M4A1 people used the most. And this one and this one. First, second, third. But I don't think the mods are the ones that people use. It it j just doesn't make sense. People would use this flashlight. Like who would put that flashlight like that? Nobody does that. They made up some random build, right? Like it's... It doesn't make sense. Yep, that's about it. This looks cursed. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> it's so weird how, made, how they made it. So yeah, guys, this is the sec third one, it seems. Uh, the vertical recoil is 84, horizontal recoil 232, ergonomics 81. Ergonomics is pretty decent, but still like, it looks horrendous in my opinion. I'm thinking about 15s. Such a weird gun. It doesn't even have a laser now on the third one. Anyways, guys, those were the guns. It looks horrendous. I think BSG made it, not us. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like these kind of contents, please leave a like. And also, what do you guys think about these builds or these prestige system-like events they're doing now? Do tell me in the comments. If you want to check me out on the live stream, check out Barry Best Gap YouTube and Twitch stream. I stream almost every day. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.